hey guys welcome back to my channel um so today i'm bringing you back with another video right here is you just want to push it this is a cuticle pusher uh you just want to go ahead and push some cuticles back i got this cuticle pusher off of the dollar store um dollar tree it was one dollar literally i'm telling you you can just go to your local dollar store and find a lot of things that you need for nails um so right here just gonna push back the cuticles um to prevent any lifting which is a really important step to prepping your nails for acrylic and stuff like that so as you can see my nails still pretty short um yeah it's pretty bad i need to uh, it it grew a little bit um so right here we're just gonna go with our with our um nail drill with our drill mm -hmm. And this is just a sanding band, which what this does is it takes off the shininess of the nail, making sure that you prep your nails right so your um, acrylic nails can stay on for a long period of time. So right here, what you're just going to do is you're going to go ahead and go get around the cuticle area. That's the most important step because um, you gotta, you basically, if you don't um, get close to the cuticle area and, and reduce the shininess off of there, um, it could cause lifting and maybe that's why your nails are coming off and stuff like that But yes, make sure you go around the cuticle the cuticle area really really good um, So your nails can last longer. I love to do this step. I just love how satisfying it looks um, To do that. I don't know every time I watch a nail video. I love when they include that step in the video because it's like damn you know i don't understand how to say it but yes guys make sure you get around the cuticle area and go around the whole nail and right here as you can see my nail kind of broke um i was trying to take my acrylics off and then one of them i stopped a midway in that nail um i forgot to take the nail off like I, they kept trying and then it started hurting mm -hmm. and then my nail was stuck to my real nail like i couldn't believe it mm -hmm. and then it cracked i believe um i was trying to grab my daughter and then it kind of um my nail flipped back which really hurt it and it caused my nail to break so right here as you can see just go around the cuticle area make sure that you take all the shiny um all the oils off the nail so right here we're just gonna go ahead and get the glue and the nail clippers and the nail tips so right here as you can see Make sure that the nail tips fit from sidewall to sidewall, uh, from each side of the nail to the other side of the nail, just so you won't get lifting because the nail is going to be too tight. Um, for the clippers, I use the clippers um, to take off the, the bottom sides of the nail tips just because sometimes the nail tips, I hate the little tips of the little curve that's in the nail. I don't know how to explain it, so I just cut those off um so make sure that you are um gluing your nail tips straight just hold them pretty straight to your finger um so that's pretty much it as you can see right here i cut little tips of the sides of the nails and i'm gluing it so that's um an easier way to do it so that's how they turned out so right here we're just going to go ahead and cut them low so you're going to see me here um uh, trying something out I wasn't sure because I hadn't tried this method with these tips. But last time I was doing my nails, um, like, I cut I cut off a little bit of the tip and I tried to glue another tip and it just didn't work because they are still little tips. So they look really ugly. Um, I didn't know how to do it. I only knew how to do it with the square tips, but I figured it out. I will just cut a little bit, of the, um, like, half of the tip off and then glue on another tip just so they could look longer because i do like my nails long and i did run out of my long extra long notes which i did order some and they'll be here anytime now so right here we're just gonna double the tip um i honestly don't like how it looks because sometimes i like to look clear now and you can just see the double tip right there which i don't like so i just like to get the extra long nails if not i'll do forms but i was too lazy to do no forms so this is what i'm gonna be doing to all of my nails yes as you can see you can just glue it 
uh, I'm figuring out how to glue it. So the trick is to cut half of the nail off, um, cut basically this little part off, and then go in, go ahead and tip the and glue the other tip to the nail. And now from here I cut to the desired length, and which is way longer than the nail tips. And these are the nail by John nail tips. This glue I get it from my local nail supply store, and it is the KDS glue I believe, but um. I used the KDS glue nail tip, but they, they didn't have one at my nail supply shop by my house, I mean. And so I had to just get these, which I believe is their brand. So yes, guys, just um, glue the double tip. Also, I do not glue a double tip for my thumb. I don't like my thumb to be long, okay? I like to, I like, kind of like it to be kind of short. Uh, I just never liked the long... Um, thumbs i remember when i used to go to the nail shop and don't leave my thumb too long or too short so i just decided to you know do it kind of medium length not too long not too short but i do like it shorter than my regular nails which is okay so yes yeah. so after this we're just gonna go ahead and get the nail cutter and and i'm just gonna go ahead and just basically cut off the tip um cut off a little bit of the tip to some of them and then to the other ones i am going to cut up a little bit more just because i don't want them long and i still want them to be that coffin shape i don't know like stiletto so i just cut off the nail tip i mean the little tip of the nail and you see you get your coffin shape so after this we're just going to be filing the sides of the nails with my 100 by 100 nail grit nail file which I get those from my local nail supply store. And as you can see right here, I'm going with the nail clipper and I'm cutting this extra sides of the nail that I might have left right there or something. So yes, right here, just want to make sure that you um, shape your nails really, really straight. Make sure that you hold your nail really, really straight. I just wasn't holding it right here because I was trying to show you how I do it. Otherwise, I would have been holding it like that. Um, But yes, make sure that you... um when you file one side you make sure you don't file a lot because then it's going to be crooked and one side is going to be more thinner than the other side if you know so we're trying to uh, file off the thing that i just pointed to um because it is longer than the nail tips so it is wider than the nail tips so yes we're just going to go ahead and do this to all the nails and then i'll be right back So like I said in my last video, um, my favorite nail primer is the Mia Secret Extra Bond Primer. It helps stay. It helps the nails stay for a little bit longer, which I love. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this in the nails only, in the natural nails only. You don't want to apply this on the fake nail or in the skin. So yes, we're just gonna go ahead and do this on all the fingers. And by the way, I'm just doing one hand because I will be doing another nail video with the other nails with the other hand that's why um yes that's why i only took this hand <laughs> this nails off so i also hate dreading i dread um doing a soak off okay i hate doing soak offs on myself i just don't like them i don't find them that pleasing so right here i'm just showing you what i bought at the nail, su the nail supply store that's in a flea market so i got mm, i got i stocked up on my mia secret clear i got more clear than my cousin gave me i got some butterflies some snowflakes um and the mia secret realness in um so yes guys i will be using those snowflakes and i'm using this glam and glitz powder um which is called soft white i believe milky white and then the no supply glamour me a secret and then all these glamming glitz colors i'm trying to figure out what color to use and i am going to be using the clear that my cousin gave me i do not know by where by what brand it really is but i'll make sure to leave it down in the in the description box just in case you are interested so right here i'm just um applying clear in the natural mm. nail tip and the reason why i do this is just so that when i use the colored acrylic 
it doesn't leave any um any stains of the color when i go ahead and do a soak off or remove my acrylic nails because it can look really nasty so yeah just go ahead and do this for all five fingers and i'll be right back So I'm just going to go ahead and get that, that aqua blue shade and go ahead and put that all over my index finger. We want to go ahead and work with that product really fast just because this um acrylic is, you see the formula, I don't really like it, but I'm used to working with it. So I just go ahead and use it anyways because I got to get rid of it some way. So right here, it's going to see me um fixing up that crispy line. Because I am going to be doing like a cut line, but side, like a V cut, but only a sideways one. So that I could put like a little snowflake there and stuff like that. So, yes, that's pretty much it for that finger. We're just going to go ahead and leave it like that, let it dry. So when we come back and sharpen up that crispy um, line, um, it could be easier for us to file down so after this now you're just gonna want to go ahead and we're gonna do the middle finger and for the middle finger i am gonna do kind of like a marble with the with the soft with the milky white and the blue one is you can see i kind of messed it up a little bit because i kept playing around with it but you just want to go ahead and pick up a bit of blue and a bit of white and go ahead and mix that up everywhere so yes and after this now we're gonna after we're done with this we're gonna go ahead and let it dry so that we can come back and do an ombre with the Mia Secret, the pink one. As you can see right here. See, I kept on mixing it and mixing it. it kind of, and it kind of faded away at some point. But even after I was done, I still would come back to it. Um, so that's pretty much the finished look for this. Um, yeah, it's really not a look. You see me keep going back and forth and now you can't even see the white. <laughs> But, you know, um, it's just, I just like messing with it. And at the end of the wall, I'll come out together, to be honest. But, yes, that's pretty much it for this finger. And we're going to go in with the other finger. And for that finger, I'm going to do a V-shape. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to be using the, um, the peak by Via Secret. And I'll start off. <sighs> sorry i start off with a big bead because i'm thinking okay i'm gonna do the normal sign the oval shape i guess the small line and honestly i don't like it so i just rather went with the v, v shape one just be just because um i didn't know where to leave the smile line of the oval one so yes i just went with the v curve i mean a v cut and yes after we're done with that v cut we're gonna go ahead and move on with the pinky mm, i'm tired but after the pinky um the pinky what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and get that no supply glamorous um acrylic powder it's in the glitter section and it is number 10 so i really love those acrylics i will motor the whole line but we're just gonna be apply that we're gonna go ahead and apply the glitter on the pinky only you're gonna see how i apply it right now So like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and apply this on the, on the, oh, what? 
it's on the tip of the note tip because we're gonna go ahead and get that Mia Secret pink and do an ombre with it. I went with a pink instead of a nude just because I feel like it look I don't know. It varies. I feel like sometimes I use the nude and sometimes I use the pink and I use another pink without the glitter because this one has kind of a glittery it's kind of glittery but but I really like it. So right here you're gonna see me just like I said, try again the marble. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and get the music or pink and start creating the ombre. Which I wish I could have let the, let the acrylic dry before I did the ombre, but I didn't. So it looks kind of messy, but I will go back and fix it at the end when I'm, you know, doing my thing to fix it. <laughs> But yes, guys, that's pretty much it for this nail. Um, after this nail, we're going to go ahead and sharpen up the edges of the other nail. Like I said, so it could look pretty sharp. So now right here, we're just going to go ahead and apply that um, aqua blue shade on the tip of the um, of the bead cut that we did on the nail. Just so um, we could already get that straight out the way and we could go ahead and encapsulate and do the other ones. So you're going to see me build it up a little bit, but that's pretty much it for that now. So now we're going back to the pinky and we're using the Mia Secret Pink and we are creating the ombre. So, you know, it could look pretty. I've been seeing a lot of ombre glitter nails, which I really want to try. So, just make sure because um I feel like I did get a wet bead and it got it from my cuticle area. But make sure you clean around the cuticle area a lot. Like, no joke. Each three seconds, check your cuticle area for any acrylic stuck there. And make sure you clean it up, clean it up while it's wet. Because if you let it dry there, then it's kind of impossible to take out. So, right here, we're just going to go ahead with the go with the um, glam and glitz white i forgot i forget the name but i believe it's monkey white and we're gonna go ahead and put a big bead and we're not gonna really fill up the whole nail to the tip we're gonna kind of create create a little ombre with the clear and we're gonna go ahead and take the snowflakes and just put three cold snowflakes so it can look like an ombre with snowflakes so I applied three snowflakes and now we're just encapsulating that into the into the white. We're gonna go ahead and use the clear and we're just encapsulating that so when it's time to file we don't get patches on the color on the white color or pat or we don't fall down the snowflakes. Which this is a really important step if you use um color acrylic unless it's really thick color acrylic or you can really build it up and stuff like that. But I just go ahead and caps encapsulate it with clear just so that when it's time to fall down, if I didn't apply enough um acrylic in one place, it won't be it won't look patchy and stuff. So right now we're just picking a big bead of acrylic of clear acrylic and we're just gonna go ahead and do half the nail. You wanna go ahead and look at your nail to make sure that it's even because I know I didn't see it right now. But part of that nail, it looks kind of dented, which you would see when I post the picture at the end. So make sure that you look at your nails from different um, angles. So you make sure you have a nice thickness, a nice, you know, um, a nice apex or anything like that. And that you're not having no like gaps in between. So right here, I'm just showing you a full view of the nails. I should have zoomed out earlier so you could get a, a full look of all the nails. But right here, I'm just done encapsulating all the nails. And now I'm just looking around to see if there's any little gaps that I should go in and fill out before I start shaping and stuff. So as you can see, I was missing a little bit there. After this, um, we're going to go ahead and get our 100-100 nail file and start shaping the nails. Just because the reason why you want to shape your nails reshape your nails it's because you kind of lose um the shape of the nail i guess you could say 
So make sure you're holding your nail straight from both sides, looking at it. Each time you fall, make sure you look at your nail so you won't fall more from one side than the other side and it will look crooked. And make sure you crisp up that uh, the tip of the nail because sometimes it can get pretty round and stuff like that. Make sure you go in with the file and fix it. So we're just going to go ahead and do that for all the nails and then we will be back. So now you just want to go ahead and get your nail drill bit and go ahead and go around the cuticle area to make sure that you seal in the cuticle area so that you won't get any oils or any water in it and you, it will cause any lifting towards your nail so they could also last long and stuff like that and you can also mm, shape away fall away any thickness or any little bumps that you might that your nails might have so just make sure you go on go on around the cuticle area it's really important that you go ahead and seal the cuticle area to cut so it could prevent it from causing any lifting. So I just go ahead and do that for all nails and then I'll be right back. So now you're just going to want to go ahead and buff out the nails with the nail buffer. This prevents, um, this takes away any scratches that the e file might have left or the hand fall. So this is a really important step also before you apply the gel top coat or the top coat. So now we're going to go ahead and apply the gel top coat. I get this one from my local nail supply store. Um, and we go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. And that's it. So thank you for watching my video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I'm uploading a new video soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And yes, that's it. So you'll see the end results right now. But thank you for watching. Bye.